The Isle of Man is, is unique. Uh, it's got this culture and this history which is unique, but it's actually got a geopolitical uh, world which is unique. It's not part of Europe. It's got loose alliances with Europe. It's not part of the UK, it's part of the British Isles. We're not subject to ODPM putting clear targets for delivery of online services out to local and regional. UK national departments will never get to a point where they're running out of one data centre. We have one internet framework. Multiple perspectives of different sites, but one framework. At the first start point around uh, a way to sign in was to imagine 40 doorways into government services on the island. And the last thing we wanted to do was to give the citizen or business that perspective. So this led us to think down the shared services route where we could build one set of infrastructure. We support 45 government websites on Gov.im and we want to make sure that they could manage and use their content in a meaningful way. Strategically our objectives in terms of delivering online services um, is to increase the number of channels available to the general public to communicate with government. We're not wishing to disadvantage people by withdrawing traditional channels of communication, but we're merely wishing to add another to give them that access to government 24 by 7 by 365. At the same time, strategically, we're wishing to make government more efficient and also to reduce the cost of, of uh, service delivery within government. We now use a framework we've built for online services on the website uh, to drive not only the tax uh, solution but also the customs and excise VAT solution and the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry solution which allows farmers to access online uh, the bovine tracking lists and to, to register births of cows. So we're, we're reusing the framework uh, to do three solutions but also we could use that platform uh, to drive a, a shared services agenda by reusing components based on Microsoft standard. Our first uh, thought around that was to use the likes of BizTalk as an integration hub and uh, SQL with Active Directory as a way to, to do part of our authentication and then from building that once we can then redeploy it to all subsequent services. I think that the staff implications um, are in more than one phase if you will. Um, during the development of these services there's been an enormous amount of time and effort that needed to be put into working with the developers, developers on the software side and then that was immediately followed by a phase of testing. So we created the whole environment in, in what's called beta testing. Um, and my staff were needed very frequently to be um, acting as, as dummy taxpayers or dummy advisors to work with the system during that period. When building online services, we were obviously mindful that we'd have to make sure that we had the highest levels of encryption, uh, that when people are exchanging their credentials via the web service, that they are only communicating with the agency they think they are and they're only disclosing information that they're comfortable to. They can create a registration and then choose to enrol with departments off the back of that. But when they exchange their credentials, it's based on information only they and the departments know. So we have a high degree of certainty that uh, the trust has been established there when they're going in and, and performing their online transactions. So we've been building our architectures, we've been building our technology platforms, we've been building our partner alliances and we've been learning from other people in terms of moving it forward with a robust platform and then starting to apply services on top. And we're now at that point where the services are beginning to have a real presence in the market for us and a real contribution to our economic development. Online services is vitally important to the Department of Trade and Industry and job seekers. Um, particularly job seekers, we, we feel we're now meeting the demand of the job seeker. They're having up-to-date informational vacancies available on the island um, and within minutes of receiving a vacancy we can have that job online and available um, to attract um, potential employees for local employers. I think that the, the delivery of online services, which, which is a new thing for Isle of Man Income Tax, uh, will deliver a number of benefits to customers. I think the principal one is choice. It gives people the ability to use uh, a speedy portal, um, direct access to our, our database, which can help them, uh, for companies in particular, because they'll be able to look at the history of their tax records too. I think what people will expect from that is a, is a more rapid turnaround and, and flexibility, if you will. The Isle of Man really wants to be at the forefront of technologically savvy and uh, innovative jurisdictions 
Um, I think people looking to invest and develop in the Isle of Man look at what the government's doing, what type of lead the government's taking, and if they can see that the government's committed in this area, they also then have the confidence to make investment decisions for the benefit of the economy. At the moment, we provide a whole range of services through the website. It can be the airport's arrivals and departure system, or it can be going to Financial Supervision Commission to make a company declaration. Where we want to go is to make these services more joined up and personalised, allow people to come in once, to click on one link, authenticate, and then access those services through one location. So the site works for you rather than you having to work for the site.